Hey, AP Physics students, Mr. Heinrich here, and we're looking at our last FRQ for Unit 4. So we've got this block A hitting block B. They collide and stick, and they take off off the table, and they achieve this distance, delta X AB. So what's going on? So we have the description here. Pause it. Read it. The next part, block B, is then returned to its initial position, and block A is replaced with block C. Block C has a mass 2MA and is given... In initial speed, V0 divided by 2 to the right. I should say that block A had initially a speed V0 in the first scenario. Okay, back to the second scenario. As before, the blocks collide, stick together, and remain together as they fall to the floor. Blocks B and C land with their center of mass a horizontal distance, delta X BC from the table's edge. All right, part A, indicate the correct relationship between delta X AB and delta X BC. It's not this selection. We might think that it is because the initial momentum is the same for both systems. I mean, block A has an initial momentum of MAV0, and that's the momentum of the system because block B is not moving. But in the second scenario, block C has a mass of 2MA, but has an initial speed of V0 divided by 2. The 2s would cancel out, and your total momentum is MA times V0. So you might say, they have the same total momentum, they must go the same exact distance, but that's not true. It actually turns out that the first selection is true, so check this one. Delta X AB is greater than Delta X BC. Now let's get ready to write and justify our selection. Both System 1 and System 2 have the same total momentum. And I'll put a quick proof here. System 1 and System 2 and these cross out, and they can see, okay, they understand that the momentums are equal. However, system one has a lower total mass after collision than system two. The reader clearly sees this is a lesser mass than this mass right here. Therefore, in order to conserve momentum, system one must have a greater velocity while system two must have a lesser velocity. Since system one has a greater post-collision velocity, it will have a greater horizontal distance traveled after leaving the table. Ooh, that is a lot to write. And I'll say right here to really sell it, delta X AB is greater than delta X BC. If they have arguments with that, they're crazy. Let's move on to part B. Okay, starting with the conservation of momentum, derive an expression for delta X AB in terms of MA, MB, V0, H, and physical constants as appropriate. Assume that the time during which the blocks are only partially beyond the table's edge and still primarily on the table is negligible. Basically, they want us to find out what's this delta X AB in terms of all those ideas. Delta X AB equals, I don't know, but I gotta find it. And we have given to us MA, MB, H, and V0. And we can use G, of course. Okay, so looking at my system, I've got A, and it's hitting B. And they're leaving the table with some velocity. And I'm going to call that velocity final. And they're going to hit, stick, they're going to launch, and they're going out some displacement, delta X, A, B, just like that. So how do I get this? in terms of all of that. Well, this is the easiest projectile motion question you could get. This is my favorite type. Whenever you have something launching horizontally from a table, we always go to the second kinematic equation. That's what I call it in class. Delta X equals V naught X T plus one half A X T squared. And we also want to write this for the Y axis because simultaneously we're traveling in both the Y and the X axis. Remember, AY is just negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So if you remember, I can pick any freeze frame point that I want, and my horizontal velocity is just VF. It's always VF. Therefore, I got no acceleration in the x-axis, and I simplify my expression to delta x, a, b, that's what we're talking about, equals, what's my initial velocity? VF, t. Boom. So if I can find VF, and I can find t in terms of this stuff, we got it made. So let's go ahead and find T because T is coming from this expression right here. Also, what is really cool about these horizontal projectile motion questions is 
You have no initial velocity in the y-axis, so I'll have delta y equals one-half ay t squared. So let's solve this thing for t because that's what's going to help us with this. Also note that this delta y we are following is actually called h. So I'm going to go ahead and put in h equals one-half g t squared. Let's rearrange this for t. t would equal the square root of 2h over g. You would just multiply both sides by 2, divide by the g, and take the square root. Now if you're thinking, what happened to the negatives? Well, technically you're displacing a negative h, and g is negative, so your negatives would just cancel out. So if I re-express this for delta x a b, I get vf times, look at that, square root of 2h over g. Awesome. But I still have to get vf out of there, so let's do that now by using the conservation of momentum. Remember, initially, we had a here, and it was just moving at a speed v0. Once they stuck together, I'm saying that they have this speed vf. So my total momentum would be ma v0 at the beginning equals ma plus mb times this combination velocity vf. So let's solve for vf. I would get vf equals ma v0 divided by ma plus mb. So I'm going to take this expression and I'm going to plug it in to that vf right there. So I will get delta x ab, this is my final answer, equals ma v0 divided by ma plus mb times, let's squeeze it in, square root of 2h over g. And you can see that all of those ideas in my final answer are part of the given information. Part b is done. Let's move on to part c. So it's going to ask us, is this expression consistent with the claim we made in part a? And the answer is yes, it is. So get ready to write. In part A, I claim that block A and B together would travel a greater horizontal distance, period. The equation I developed in part B is consistent with this claim, period. If the denominator is less, as when you add MA and MB versus MB and MC, the output will be greater for delta X AB, period. Okay, that's it. We did another one. We're on to unit five. Have a great day. Like and subscribe. I'll talk to you soon.